The Evolved Bats stats and gameplay are out, so let's get right into it. Starting off, they have 50% more hit points before they even use their ability, which is healing, and then their max hit points is increased by times two. They're a two-cycle evolution, meaning you need to play them twice before you get the Evolved version, but that likely means they're going to be pretty broken because if you look at the Evolved Knight, it's a two-cycle evolution and it's three elixir. This is only two elixir, meaning you're going to be able to get it down more frequently. And then its ability is healing. So it heals 76 hit points after each attack, which is going to allow it to survive things like zap and snowball alongside many other interaction changes. Now I'll show you guys what some of the interaction changes look like. So the regular bats, as you guys know, die to things like bats, spear goblins, poison, archers, and minions in one shot. But the evolved bats, even before healing themselves up, survive against all of those things. And then after they've attacked something a little bit and they've healed themselves up, they are then going to survive Zap, Musketeer, and Minions, which is pretty insane. Now, even when they're fully healed, the arrows are going to take them out, which means we very well could see an arrow meta. But even though arrows take them out, you're spending three elixir to take out a two elixir card that has probably already gotten some value. The one other interaction I thought was absolutely insane is five healed bats can take 60% of the princess tower. So for two elixir, you can lose over half of your tower if you don't have enough elixir to defend these things. Before I show you guys some of the gameplay, we've got a quick sponsor for today's video. Thank you so much, Marvel Strike Force, for sponsoring today's video. Marvel Strike Force is a free-to-play RPG action game that has all your favorite Marvel superheroes and supervillains. The visuals and graphics are insane in this game, especially during combat. Each character also comes with their own unique ability and appearance, so be sure to unlock them all to find out what your favorite is. There is a lot of strategy in this game because you want to make sure your team has good synergy. Archangel, for example, is good at changing the enemy's speed bar and also healing your allies, so he is very good in the specific game mode raid. But if it's a different game mode, then you're going to want to have different teams because it's going to change based on what you're trying to achieve. Venom is one of my favorite Marvel villains, so I was really excited to see that he's in the game. He is extremely powerful, his abilities are really fun to use too, and he just looks insane inside of the game. Download the game for free today by going to Amazon, the apps and games section, Marvel Strike Force, and then get the app here by clicking continue, and then you have your choice of downloading it for Android on the Amazon App Store, or getting it for Windows 11 on Microsoft. The reason why using the Amazon App Store is so good is because you get 20% off in-app purchases for Marvel Strike Force, and there's a feature called Amazon Coins, which gets you way more value for the money you spend. Be sure to click the link in the description below and download today. Guys, now these are the Evolved Bats without being healed. They're coming down the bridge. Keep in mind, even when they're not healed, they still have additional health and it takes two shots for the tower to take them out. And then once they get on top of the tower, they heal themselves up, dealing even more damage. They dealed over 700 damage, even though they weren't even originally healed before crossing the bridge. And now you're going to see them here on a counter push with the Electro Drag. Notice how they're hitting the P.E.K.K.A. They're healing themselves up ready for the counter push. And like I was talking about before, they survive Zap. So E-Spirit gets played on top of them, but it hardly does anything. You can see they get on top of the tower. I wonder if stuns are going to pair really well with the Evolved Bats. Things like E-Drag, Zap, and Freeze to buy your bats more time to heal. And now, guys, these are the evolved bats that are healed coming in. So this time around, when they're crossing the bridge, they have their maximum health. And as you guys can see, they literally take out half of the tower. The time ran out, but you saw almost half the tower was taken out. So let's say they're fully healed and you want to zap them, thinking it's going to help counter them. It really doesn't. So the zap was used on the healed bats, and it hardly did anything. You might even be better off not zapping on defense if they're healed all the way up. And just showing you an interaction against the Archer Queen, the Archer Queen one shots them before they're healed, but once they get healed up, the Archer Queen takes two shots to take them out. 
All right, here's another example of how broken the Evolved Bats can be. So let's say you're playing the Evolved Bats on the Lava Hound. Obviously, first they have to whittle down the Lava Hound. They decide to go for a Zap to try to take them out in time. They mess it up. They heal themselves right back up. Look at that against the Lava Pups. They attack the Lava Pups, heal themselves up for a counter push. So if you send a Miner in with them, look at the Spear Goblins just getting killed, and you have to go Arrows just to take them out. Now, even if you guys are thinking the Evolved Bats are pretty easy to counter with things like arrows, you guys have to keep in mind the Bats are already very broken. I would easily say they're a top 20 card right now in the game. You can see there's 28 people using the regular Bats inside of the top 200. So over 10% of the top 200 is already using the Bats. They're insanely strong inside of Minor Wall Breakers. And here's my prediction, guys. The Evolved Bats, because you need arrows to kill them, they're likely going to replace minions in a lot of decks. So we're going to be seeing these Evolved Bats inside of things such as Sparky instead of the minions, inside of Lava Hound instead of the minions, and they're going to be used even more inside of things like Mortar than they already are. And it's very likely we are going to see this card so prevalent in the meta and just turn things into an arrow meta just to take them out. The other reason why I guarantee the Evolved Bats are going to be extremely broken is because of the recent balance changes. Let me explain, I promise it still relates to the topic of the Evolved Bats. So for the final balances, if you guys didn't see them, the Evolved Skeletons are getting buffed, the Ice Golem is getting buffed, the Goblin Cage, the Giant, those are all getting buffed. Here's why the Evolved Bats are likely going to be easily a top 3 evolution in the game. The Evolved Knight is getting a nerf, and the Evolved Barbarians, which means those two things are going to be weaker, and because you can only have one evolution in your deck, if the Evolved Bats end up being better than them, they're easily going to outclass them. I think especially the Evolved Barbarians, the Evolved Bats are definitely going to be better than after their nerf. The Bomb Tower is also getting nerfed, the Magic Archer is getting nerfed, the Lava Hound's getting nerfed, and then the Snowball's getting reworked. Those are all the balances, but like I said, because two evolutions are getting nerfed, that's an indirect buff to the Evolved Bats before they're even released. All right, guys, now let's take a look at what some people think of this evolution. This should be pretty funny. Heals who exactly? Because we aren't ready for Evo Bats healing a Goblin Giant push. Good point. They survive Zap, Snowball, Rage, and Tornado once they heal up from attacking troops. We are finished. And then they'll be nerfed in November, true, or maybe December if they need one more month to make more money. Damn, one bat on the tower equal to GG. Well, to be fair, you probably need at least three or four of them on the tower when they're fully healed, but there are only two elixirs, so that's still broken as heck. If they can survive one shot from Princess Tower, why can't skeletons? I have lost faith in Clash Royale. It's Jover. <laughs> wow, just bats with pink freaking eyes and can heal. Why is he typing in all caps? Clown emoji. <laughs> all right, guys, so that's the bad evolution. What do you think of it? The biggest problem is it's kind of locked behind a paywall because you need to buy the diamond pass to get it, but it is what it is, I guess.